Hey guys, DJ Char, and today I'm going to show you all my root theme, meaning the Ambu Black Ops guys. That I is a team of Ambu people who are either in the Ambu Black Ops or in root. So first up, we have Adachi, and then you know about Kakashi, and then the third Okage. You know about Sai, Donzo, and Yamato. Right, right now the team that I have, they have over. 1 million, well, 10 million CP. That's combat power. Okay, now let's see. <clears throat> well, this is my Kakashi at the moment. I have him di diamond. So I got the, the skin during the last event. And the skills that I have on him uh, are Thunder Spreading, Mangeku Kamyu. And Idachi Sosuno Kakashi. Okay. For Idachi, for Idachi I have, well, Transcription Seal, Sukiyomi, and this one here. Okay, so that's the skills for Idachi. Because for the third Okage, I have Unbreakable Prison Wall. It causes serious ninjutsu damage to all enemies, stuns enemies for two rounds at low probability, and at the same time, release many ninjutsu shield to teammates for three rounds. And his active that I have on him is the five elements unseal. Silent all enemies for two rounds at some probability, speed up chakra recovery of all team members with three for three rounds. Of course it requires 500 chakra. His passive I have on him is summoning Enma. Okay, and let's go to Sai. Sai's skill of course is the beast drawing. He doesn't get no new, no new unique skills or anything. And for his active skill I have on um, Double false surroundings and haze clone. For Donzo, I have the reverse four symbols ceiling style, one style. I have Idachi Sosuno Shisui, and he's able to get that because once he becomes diamond, he his he gets this new. Um, he gets this new bloodline that allows him to to use some of so Shisui's um, uh, uh, skills. And I also have on him the reverse four symbols ceiling second style. As his um, passive skill. Right, for Yamato, I basically see him skills as I have for Sai, except of course this unique skill which is Great Forest. And it's a one one enemy hit attack and blah blah. It seals it could seal your fury and everything. So those are the guys that I have for the team. Right now his combo power is one million four hundred blah blah blah. Danzo's power, Sai's power, third, Kage, Kakashi's, and Idachi's. So, um, let's kick them into some dungeons and see what happens. First, let's arrange them. I have Idachi first because of his um, seal-ness stunning attack. And everything and then Kakashi as a backup and then the third Okage and, and so on and so forth. Let's check them out in some dungeons. Like I told y'all I like to attack Almighty Push. Ah need to empty out some Who can I get rid of? Ah, let me get rid of this. Uh, 
Let's see, let's see, anything else? Hey, let me delete this Kenny and stuff. There we go. So we should be fine to go into to the dungeons now. So I'm gonna attack Almighty Push. And now let's get to see what happens. That's Kodachi's attack and all stuff. Kakashi's Dunder. And all of his things. Down break wall. Wall, beast attack. And there you go. They easily defeat them. Okay, so let's go to a little harder. Who is harder? I'll attack 2410. See what happens there. That's Adachi and Nagato. Well, most likely, the it didn't work. Adachi's um, stun didn't work on Adachi because, of course, he's Adachi. <laughs> and yeah. And because of Adachi's, um, what you call it, um, Adachi's uh, passive skill, every time when he attacks somebody, they, he um, stuns them. So that's why when he attacked my third Okage, it was stunned. My Kakashi is a tank. He don't play. And my third Okage isn't too bad himself. The only one who died so far is Danzo, and that's because he kills himself. That's the only thing drawback about Donzo. Never use him by yourself in a in a fight, because he'll eventually kill himself. Or if you're gonna use him in a fight, use a healer to heal him, like Sakura or Sonati. All right, so we defeated them. Let's see if we can take on twenty four eleven. There we go. Speed it up so go a little faster. Class Donzo kill himself again. But it's fine, everybody else can kill them. Because of Kakashi's attack, it's basically it's pretty good on Adachi. Yeah, so Kakashi is very good at, at attacks and sealing and stunning and all that stuff. Alright, so they finished that one now. Let's see if we could beat Nagato. There we go. Of course, I think we should it'll be pretty easy to beat him because of how Dachi can can um, stun him. Are we gonna do it? He got some high defense and everything. So, <clears throat> we might actually go all the way to the 30 rounds for this one. Because he has some super defense. If I had my guy in this fight, hit him in over and like nothing, nothing, because guy attacks very hard. But it's not like he's going to be able to attack me because I have a bunch of stunners on here. Kakashi stuns, um, uh, Hidachi stuns, and and um, Yamato seals and all that stuff and everything. So, it's pretty good. It's a pretty good team to have. Just need to get them a little stronger, I think, with, bring, 
who are bringing down the the CP to only about only ten million is Sai and Yamato because you don't I don't have any of their or we don't have any of their um uh what you call it um uh character specific weapons and equipments so it's pretty odd to get them off and I haven't really worked on them. I just got them the gold and everything. So the equipment that I have on them are actually from my main team. That's why the CP is so high. And out of, out of these six, Kakashi is the only one that's usually on my team. So <clears throat> he has all his unique equipment and everything. Alright, so like I said, they couldn't defeat it because they didn't have enough power to defeat him. He has too big of a defense. Coming around 30, let's go. And they did pretty well. Got his, his HP to less than half. Alright, so I'll take you into the hero dungeon. And let's do a couple of the hero dungeons. As you all know, the hero dungeons are harder than usually harder than the other ones. Uh, usually harder than the normal dungeons, because they give um, they always give stuff to you and everything. So they are the damage that you need to inflict on them is higher. This could take a while, like I said, you need to hit them with a lot of damage. Well, it's just repeating it, so I'll just skip it. Oh, we actually lost. Huh. Interesting. I guess we couldn't get past the 30. Anyway, let's see. We should win against this one. Kakuso. Guess he's stronger than I thought he was. But anyway, we should be able to defeat him. Can we defeat him? No? Really? Mm. Can you defeat any of these? Guess 10 million isn't enough, eh? <laughs> but I guess it's, it's really the attacks that are attacking. Let's see. Yes, okay, so we defeated that one and got two mysterious bikes. Anyway, this video is starting to get a little longish, so I'll just go finish this up and show you all the equipment. Now, I, for Dachi, I just got this equipment here. It um, it releases Yata, Mira, and increases his Ninja's Defense, Taiju's Defense, Genju's Defense for two rounds after unique skill. And it gives him Dodge, HP, Genjutsu Attack, and all that stuff. Good stuff. And, of course, his ring that gives ninjutsu attack and hit. And this is Shisui. Um, crow's left eye <coughs> gives genjutsu and ninjutsu attack. And, well, I have on the Kalski's cloak. And, well... Ambu, the sword is Sasuke's own. I just use it because, um, for lack of a different of a better <clears throat> weapon, does ninjutsu attack, and this is just the third Kage suit. Kakashi, I have the mysterious mask for. Ichiya Ichiya Paradise two. I have Muse Ninjutsu suit. I have the Wi-Fi 
at the third. Mangeku Shogun at fourth. That's what gives us the Kamu that um, seals the opponent for three rounds. And of course, the regular Ambu's S rank Ambu shoes. And I have Dakowski's cloak and the S rank Ambu's ring. On him, I have Pain Sharingan. Jonina Amar, and y'all should already know about these stuff. These are guys' equipments that I put on him. This is um, Hanzo equipment. This is his um, unique weapon. Guys, Taijutsu kneecaps. This is Shojiro headphones, earphones. And of course, his unique suit. These equipments here is basically from Ufune. The samurai armor. The head bandage. The samurai gloves. The samurai boots. And of course, his sword. This weapon, <clears throat> this here is from Koshina's event. I was able to get that because I have a gold. So that's what that is and everything. And just to show y'all, y'all should already know what these are. This here is Madaro's six parts cloak. Charting on the fourth, blah, blah, blah. This is his black rod, Madaro's black rod that I put on Yamato for now. So that's it for that this one. That's the CP of this group and look forward to other videos during this week. And if you like the video, click that like button and subscribe and everything. And I look forward to your, your comments and questions and everything. See you.